Hi, I'm the Noodle Hunter, and today I've got something from the lands of Vietnam. Sour, hot, shrimp flavored, instant noodles. Weighing in at 77 grams of dry weight and a caloric content of approximately 330. Made with Japanese technology, I wonder how spicy these noodles will really be. And will it satisfy my seafood craving? I guess we'll soon find out with a taste test. Inside we have the soup powder. It feels very packed and dense, which means that it's potentially going to have a lot of flavor, what I'm looking forward to. And the oil. It looks quite nice as well. If you look very carefully, there are random bits of pieces in there. I believe it's probably going to be garlic and onion, potentially roasted as well. And when you combine these two satchels together, it's going to create the ultimate flavor explosion. Anyway, here comes the next part. Preparing these noodles, oh yeah. But before I do, one thing I do find very interesting about this ooh, specific uh, noodle packet is that when you smell it, it's already got a bit of a flavoring to it, like a salty but briny like seafood smell. It's gonna, that means there's gonna be quite a lot of flavor in there. Oh dear, I forgot to bring my chopsticks again. That's okay, I won't burn my finger this time. All right, let's pour it in. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Watery great cooking goodness. I almost feel bad for um, draining these noodles because I feel that the flavors that you s smell on these noodles will be gone away once I um, drain it out. But also, I've realized when I put too much water in, it just doesn't taste the same. Smart idea, didn't burn my finger this time, using the lid. All right. Okay, and this is probably my least favorite part. Time to wait three arduous minutes. <sighs> so I've drained the water out of these noodles and what I saw when I drained it out was a lot of the potential flavoring going away. But here it is. It still smells the same, about the same strength of aroma as when I smelled it dry. So I've, hopefully it's still good. Anyway, time to add the seasoning. Oh yeah. Ah, this is super dense. I'm gonna, will this rip perfectly? Oh, that's perfect. And of course, it wouldn't be actually. Mmm, that's nice. It's kind of salty and sweet. Not very shrimpy though, but adding the oil. Oh, she's. Oh. And the oil is kind of hard to get out actually, it's kind of stuck to the plastic. There we go. Wait, I want to get all that, that flavor out. Here we go. Yeah, every flavor molecule counts. And time to add the water. Well, not too much because I do want to keep the flavoring intact. Oh, there we go. And that's enough. That's a good amount of flavoring right there. Mix it up. I have reviewed the same company or products before, but in a chicken flavored form. I quite liked it. The noodles were very nice, but I can't recall how well they taste. And here we go. And then, like I said, it wouldn't be the noodle channel if I didn't do this. Are you guys ready for the grand opening of sour hot shrimp flavored instant noodles? Oh yeah. And I've already mixed it up. And the soup kind of looks a bit, what's the word for it? Not very colored, it's, it's got a really basic soup colors with the little oil droplets, good sign. And as the noodle channel goes with it, uh, gotta taste the soup first. Mm, it's definitely spicy, but not as spicy as Nong Shim. It's great. Instant noodles to start with if you want to try something spicy, but not too spicy because sometimes that kimchi instant noodle can pretty much burn your butthole Other than that, it unfortunately doesn't satisfy my Seafood cravings. It doesn't really taste like shrimp at all Shrimp does have a very distinct taste to it and to me this kind of this soup kind of just tastes like a combination of a little bit of onion 
a little bit of pepper, a bit of chili flakes, and sugar and salt. It, that's what the water tastes like. It's a bit disappointing. Like, it just doesn't have the seafood flavor I'm looking for, which is a bit disappointing. Other than that, though, the soup itself is quite nice. It's got a good flavor balance. It just doesn't have that shrimpness to it. It is a bit sour, though, but I was wanting it to be potentially more sour. You could probably add, like, lemon juice or a bit of lime juice to make this taste better. But that's not what I'm looking for in an instant noodle packet. I want all the flavors to already be there, and I don't have to add extra stuff to it to make it taste better. Yeah, if I was going to give this a rating, I'm probably going to give it about a 4.5 out of 10. It's really not that flavorsome. It's great if you don't want something too salty, but for me, my taste buds just don't feel satisfied or exhilarated when I taste it. Yeah, but onto the noodles. I'm pretty sure I know the noodles will be good though. Like the flavor is pretty below average, but these noodles. These noodles are good. Wow. When you, what I'm looking for in, in like the noodle packets is how it cooks in just standard boiled water, not on a stove top. Because I like to think that instant noodles are made for convenience, not for, you know, making gourmet. You can go in that direction, but instant noodles are kind of like made if you don't have time to make food and it takes three to five minutes to make, five minutes to eat. And these noodles, you know, they cover those criteria of mine. They're firm, they're al dente, they're not too hard. Mm. They've got the perfect amount of firmness to it. Ah, you, you can taste like in every um, chew you take, you can feel the firmness bounce right back as you bite into it, which is such a great feeling. It's like a, it's like I'm in control. And it's not just kind of like, it's not like I'm eating mush. I'm actually eating something that has texture. Mm. All right. These noodles, I'm definitely going to give it an eight and a half out of 10. The soup kind of let it down, but the fact that the noodles already kind of came flavored, I think that also enhances the greatness of these noodles. I don't know what else to say. It's very uh, complex. And now, the ultimate test, will these noodles and soup built into an entree form taste good? This actually would be a really great entree idea for a party. If you have a bunch of spoons with a bit of soup and noodles in it, you're like, yeah, I totally make this fresh, even though it was from an instant noodle packet. <laughs> All right. Mm. So these noodles do work well together with the soup giving it an overall score of 7 out of 10. Like, it is above average. The soup could have definitely been a bit better. If it had a little bit more sourness to it and a little bit more shrimpiness to it, I'd probably, the score of my soup would just smash through the roof. So, yeah, I'm gonna take one more bite because it is quite nice though, when you do combine the flavors together. The firmness and the soup. Mm. Yeah. So overall, I do recommend these noodles, especially if you don't really handle spice well, but you want to get into it. Um, how How Instant Noodles, the shrimp, the hot shower shrimp flavored, is a great way to start because it burns a little bit, but not too much. And if you eat enough of these, you'll start. Be, you'll be able to eat like habanero chilies easily, easily, really. Anyway, that's all I have to say about these noodles. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the Noodle Hunter. Hit that subscribe button because I'll be making videos quite intermittently and hopefully regularly. And if you want to leave a comment, that'd be great because at least I know... I want some feedback, that'd be great. If you gave me some feedback, I'd be happy. I'll try to change my videos to the way you want it. And hit that like button because, you know, I always like to have a bit of an ego inflation. Alright, I'll see you guys all next time.